this video, I'm going to be breaking down how to slow down the gun bunch offset formation or the gun bunch formation, one of the best formations in Madden pretty much every single year, potentially the best Madden or the best formation in Madden really ever. Uh, this formation is always effective. And so we're going to give you kind of a little bit of a defensive mini scheme today on how to go about potentially defending this this uh, really, really good formation. I'm in the Colts. It's the best bunch in the game. If you guys want to get my Colts offensive ebook, link's going to be in the description down below. Uh, and we're actually going to be utilizing Dollar. And the reason why I like to do right to teach from Dollar is because Dollar will give you the most amount of options uh, comparatively to other defensive formations. So I really like the way the defense plays. And if you want to get my full dollar three two defensive ebook, we've got actually three or four different variations of the defense, and that is going to also be linked down below in the description. The cool part is you get access to all of our ebooks in one spot. It's over at school.com. We just started a community over there. It has access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for Madden. It's also complete and full total access to our offensive and defensive ebooks for college football once college football comes out. So if you guys want to get access to both of those uh, those full schemes. Those are going to be linked down in the description. It's going to help you with both games and uh, just a great way to get better at the game. All right, so uh, what we're going to be doing in our coaching adjustments in terms of how we're going to set this up is the way we're going to run this defense is we're going to have our auto alignment on base, our option defense on conservative, and to start out, we are going to have our zone coverage on default and our curl flats are going to be on 20. The reason we're going to do this is this is, in my opinion, kind of the most strategic way to run the dollar defense. There's a lot you can do with this. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite base coverages, base defenses, blitzes, as well as some of my favorite advanced coverages and defenses for some people that may be a little bit more effective at running the gun bunch. Now, audibles for this defense, all you're going to need to do is put the DB fire in your audibles. In this spot right here for the cover two, I like to put the cover four or even the cover three cloud. I think that's perfectly fine. And then we're actually going to be coming out in the play free safety zone blitz pretty much every single time. Now, the base setup for this is we are going to press, we are going to pinch our defensive line, we're going to hook curl the defensive safe, the safety on the left, and we're going to shade underneath. What this is going to do is this is kind of the base coverage defense, really, for anyone as we're kind of starting out to be able just to kind of see what are they doing, why are they doing it. This is kind of just like a base defense that you could play literally against anybody and have some level of success. Now, the five-man variation is a little bit more effective of a blitz, and if we ever want to kind of give a little bit more pressure to our opponent, we'll utilize this five-man pressure variation. What we're going to do with this is we're going to press, we're going to pinch the D-line, zone that safety, and then we're just going to blitz the slot corner off of the left side. So this is still a shade, um, a shade coverage underneath type of defense. I personally really like to shade outside and underneath. I think it plays the, the yellow zones play a little bit better that way. And now you're going to see we're going to be able to really get that pressure uh, to come right up the A-gap. Now, real quick, I'm going to sub in some safeties uh, as I kind of explain personnel for this so ideally what you want to have especially at this point in the year uh, now that we're able to get a lot of the abilities and stuff is you want to have flat zone and mid zone ko on your slot corners you want to have mid zone ko on both your linebackers here uh, and then you want to have deep zone and mid zone on your back four, your corners and your safeties in the dollar defense so those are what i would recommend uh, in terms of abilities now let's talk about stopping double post, one of the best plays in Madden 24. The best way to stop this specific play is we're going to run the five-man blitz variation with the hook curl. And then the only adjustment we're going to do that's kind of super important is we're going to deep half this corner on the left-hand side. Now it's kind of an illusion because there is something certainly super open out of double post that I'm going to show you, but this stops the majority of things that people are going to want to do, especially that post over the middle, because we have two zones that are going to work in tandem together. The first zone is going to be the shaded down hook curl. As you can see, what he's going to do is he's going to play this running back kind of early, and then that running back's going to my user, and then look at that hook curl. He's going to make this throwing window a little bit more difficult. The next thing that's going to happen is this deep half is going to pinch inward, and he's actually going to defend this post kind of right in here. And if you have deep zone KO, that's going to pretty much stop this the majority of the time. So again, just shade underneath and then put that deep half on that left side. And I like to send five just to kind of, because I know more than likely, if you're playing somebody in Colts, this is the, this is the, this is the play that you have to stop. All right. 
this is the play you have to stop. And really what that means for you is ideally you want to kind of be able to just simply sit down on the running back and force the difficult read to occur over the middle of the field. Now, another rendition of this coverage that I like is to put a cover two to the left and a cover three to the right and send four. The reason I like this little send four variation is because, again, going back to kind of double post, it's just going to give us a little bit more middle field coverage. And so they're going to have to throw right into that half. And oftentimes that's going to be a KO or an interception. Now, one of the best zones that I think is super underrated for double post is to utilize a mid read on the left side linebacker. When we do this, what I like to do is I'm going to crash my D line down because I want to send three at the opponent. And then we're going to still play kind of a cover two coverage on that left side just to kind of be safe. So now, as you can see here, I'm able to get a lot of coverage in the middle of the field. So I just need to kind of stay over here to the right side. And you see that mid reads kind of dropping right into that pocket to be able to defend that double post streak really, really well. Now, the key to that is that we are running this middle mid read zone from the running back side. That is a actual super important point. And what's going to happen here is what you'll see is that will not get cleared out by a middle zone. And he's actually going to be able to play that really, really well. So that's one of my, if I really need to stop double post, I'll do something like that. Another one of my favorite defenses to play against gun bunch is a double flat. Typically this double flat is actually going to be to the left side of the screen. The reason why I like to double flat the left side of the screen is because you kind of can really stop everything they can do to the left with a double flat. And then on the right side, it allows you to be able to kind of just adjust to whatever it is that they are doing. So the way that we double flat out of this, remember we put those curl flats at 20 yards. So we're gonna shade underneath. We're going to put the safety on that solo side in a curl flat. We are going to then uh, hook curl or mid read that left side guy to kind of handle that middle of the field. Whenever we only send three, we want to crash our defensive line down every single time to be able to make sure that we ensure that we're getting good sheds. And then on the right side of the field, what this now allows us to do is we can just simply play pretty bend but don't break style defense. And we're primarily looking to take away either the tight end wheel out of verticals or any kind of corner route to the right side of the screen. So what you're going to see here is let's say they go to the vertical setup. All you're going to do kind of pop here and then you're going to go here and then down to here. And basically with the KOs, that's going to make this a really, really, really effective little coverage defense for you to use. Now, what would that what would the coverage defense that I just broke down be pretty decent against. It's going to be really good against any kind of smash return style of play or C route on that left side. So for example, this is a very popular setup. A lot of people like to run this out of smash return, including myself. And really any kind of high low to the left, this is going to do a pretty, pretty effective job. So again, as you'll see here, I'm kind of lurking here and I kind of go back into here and you see that if they try to throw this slot apprentice post, that is going to consistently be able to defend it every single time. So the next thing that I wanted to break down is kind of a little bit of a twist on this defense. It's going to be super effective for leveraging the power of the double flat because we're also simultaneously going to be able to leverage that deep half and really protect against any kind of big play happening on the solo side. So the way that we're going to do this is very similar to the way I just showed you, but we're going to kind of add a little bit to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to still shade underneath. Um, and, and, and what I like to do is before I shade underneath, I love to get that hook curl on the field. Shaded down hook curls are much, much better than standard hook curls. So we're going to put that linebacker on the left in a hook curl, maybe crash our line inside, shade underneath to get those hard flats. And then we're going to purple the right side, or I'm sorry, the left side safety. We're going to deep half that solo side corner. And then what we're able to do because we're using that deep half is we have a couple things we can do. Number one, we could either, we could just simply leave it like this. The other thing that we can do that I think is actually really effective is go ahead and play cover two to the bunch side. The reason I like to play cover two to the bunch side is this is a pretty safe coverage. It's going to do a decent job at stopping double corner to the right side. And then what you're able to do is, again, it gives you a lot of freedom in the middle of the field. You're still wanting to kind of take corner routes 
kind of. But in general, this is another safe coverage. It's going to be a little better for like verticals. And then you're just going to be able to kind of take the cross or kind of work back in here. And you'll be surprised at how good a deep half is in this year's game. I feel like in Madden 24, it's by far the best the deep half zone has ever, ever been. The next setup we're going to show you, super excited. I have to show you this. It's a great little man coverage out of this defense. So we're going to look like we're playing zone, but in actuality, we're actually going to play some man coverage. The way we're going to do this is we're going to press, we're going to pinch the D-line, crash the D-line inside, and pinch or crash down. So you see it kind of looks like this. And then what we're going to do is we are going to man up that seam flat defender on the right onto that circle receiver. And then we're going to shade him manually inside. What that's going to do is it's going to stop pretty much double post is going to be pretty well defended by that. The next thing that I like to do is cross man the tight end with the linebacker that's blitzing on the play. So it looks kind of something like this. And then we're going to kind of complete the coverage with the ability to be able to take this safety on the right side and just man him up onto the crosser. And then we can kind of close the defense like this if we want to. Pretty decent little crossman setup. Another way to do it, another way to get to the same thing is basically this right here. What I like about this crossman kind of coverage is it's really good against double post. All we have to do is take away the running back. If we take away the running back, double post is completely bagged by this setup because that post doesn't normally beat that man coverage. Of course, every now and then that will beat man coverage, but in general, that shade inside normally does a really good job of being able to play good, solid defense against that. Now, what we're going to do is one of the best ways that your opponent is going to pick up the five-man pressure is they are going to double-team the defensive tackle. They're going to block the running back. And this is oftentimes going to be enough to kind of pick up that pressure. So what I like to do is every now and then kind of send some different variations of the pressure, including this four-man blitz from DB Fire 2. So we're going to go to DB Fire 2. And the cool part about audibly once your base aligned Everything looks identical, so you want to be audibling to this after coming out in free safety zone blitz, and then you're just going to pinch your defensive line and press. From there, what I like to do to set up this, this defense is we're actually going to send this coverage, we're going to send this pressure off of the right hand uh, off the right hand side and the reason we're going to send it off the right hand side is again most of the time they're going to be blocking that running back on the left and oftentimes they're going to id that left side corner so what this is going to allow us to do is against a potential five-man pressure we actually have a decent shot at being able to get in for pressure so what we're going to do is again we're going to hard flat that left side slot corner deep half that left side outside corner and we're going to curl flat so you see we're kind of creating a, a really good coverage but we're sending four at the same time and so what we're going to get from a pressure perspective is oftentimes this guy will come in they'll kind of feel that pressure have to step up and most of the time it's going to stop a lot of things that your opponent wants to do one of, the, one of my favorite defenses to tell people, if, you're, if you are playing somebody and they are running this concept right here that you see on your screen quite a bit, this double corner, I love this adjustment for that play. All we're going to do is we're going to audible to cover three cloud show two. We're going to press, pinch, and crash down. And then what we're able to do with this cover three cloud show two is kind of the same thing that we were doing from the from uh, the, the double flat portion where we're going to want to go ahead and hard flat here on the left side and then the with the with the hook curl i would probably either vert hook him you could hard flat him and play a true double flat you could man him up on circle you could man him up on the tight end you could do a lot of different things with that defender but one of my favorite things is just a simple cross man setup i think this is a really good setup for double corner because the only thing they can really throw is that outside corner and then all you have to do is I would actually probably go ahead and vert hook this guy on the backside to take away that drag a little bit this plays really well and again you're just kind of boxing wanting the slot corner what's really cool about this is it doesn't matter what kind of street corner flat variation they get to that slot corner will never ever ever get open you'll see what I'm saying this outside third will just absolutely bag that slot corner and this goes for a bunch strong nasty this goes for a bunch strong offset this goes for a bunch offset as well if they're trying to run double corner my favorite adjustment is to call cover three cloud now the reason that i wanted to show that is because what happens if your opponent decides hey we're gonna flip our play what you can do is you can flip your play and then you can audible to cover three cloud as well 
Now, this is a super simple way to kind of get the same thing. And I did want to give you one advanced tip if you wanted to kind of leverage this tactic in your own game. So if you wanted to leverage this tactic in, within your own game, I would really recommend putting the strong safety blitz in your audibles. And this is just kind of for those key situations. So again, let's say they flip and you flip, right? And then what you're going to see is you see how my big blitz angles kind of messed up now. If I were to audible to strong safety zone blitz, my blitz angle now is back in the free safety. So you see here, I can create the same five man pressure through utilizing kind of that stuff on, on that strong safety zone blitz. So that's really, really advanced. And it's something that you don't have to do for by any means, but it's a way that you can get, it's a way that you can get to cover three clouds. So again, if I want to flip, and then, then I'm going to audible to whatever play I want to run, whether it's cover through cloud, whether it's DB fire two, um, you know, whatever. Now I'll show you one other thing on this that I do think is important is let's say that, you know, they, they come out and let's say they are flipped. So let's say they don't, they don't audible, they don't flip their play, but they come out and they are flipped. Cause remember we have auto flip off. If they come out and they're already flipped, uh, one of the things that, and of course I accidentally came out in the wrong, the wrong defense. One of the things that I really, really want to encourage you to do here is go ahead and audible to the play first. So you're going to see here, I come out in free safety. I'm going to audible to cover three cloud, and then I'm going to flip. And as you see, when I do that, nobody moves, and I'm able to kind of get back to that same style of defense. Now, I wanted to also kind of go over this really sneaky adjustment that I think a lot of people sleep on in bunch that is really good for double post. It is also really good for Durham um, or the, you know, bunch strong, nasty variation of Durham. And that is this adjustment right here. What we're going to do is we are going to leave this seam flat or even turn it into a curl flat on that left-hand side. So essentially, we're going to kind of do the shaded down yellow like so and then we're going to purple we're going to purple and deep half so you see this what we get so the reason that this is really effective is because that curl flat will slowly drift back and be able to defend the post from smash return so he'll kind of midpoint the tight end drag and the slot post from one of the most popular plays in the game so oftentimes you know you use something like this watch this cook Curl flat, back, 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 back up, and he's right in that position to be able to play that route. This is a super kind of advanced little way of kind of playing, but it's super effective for defending, you know, some of the things that you're going to get. I also really like this, you know, again, if we're getting into something like this, it's really good. The 20-yard the curl flat is super effective. You can kind of get to it if you wanted to like this as well certainly fine uh but in general you know the the 20 yard curl flat is a really good adjustment for that crosser or the tight end post or any of that because now they got to throw right into your deep third which is going to ko it every single time so that is kind of some of the main things that i like to do in terms of kind of my base coverages and general guidelines for defending bunch now i want to get into uh some of the real like route combos that you're going to see. So like verticals and they're going to streak the running back. This is very popular, right? What I like to do here is kind of a simple defense, but super effective. Again, we're actually going to now Mabel the bunch side. So the way we're going to Mabel the bunch side is we are going to put that left side slot corner in a vertical hook. We're going to shade underneath that shade underneath is really important. We're then going to middle third the safety that is on the solo side this time and then we are going to curl flat the safety that is on the bunch side this creates kind of that double flat or double mabel technique that's going to be really effective for defending like double corner or even this vertical setup here this is really good for defending double corner i'll show that real quick so the vert hook will kind of play that drag and then your user will also be over there and then the other thing here is that short corner is going to get played by that 20 yard curl flat pretty much every single time now as far as vertical verticals defense you don't ever want to have to truly defend verts but what's a really good adjustment again is kind of that first original thing where we're shading down that hook curl and then we're just going to play like this and the reason this is so good is because that hook curl is going to kind of come down and ko or at least rally and make that tackle really quick in the play allowing you to user that tight end. Now I want to show you a little bit more of an advanced version 
of a defense that's going to do a really good job of defending kind of a lot of different quick throws to the running back. If this is something you're trying to stop, this is a great way to defend it. The best way that I know in terms of how to defend the quick throws to the running back, what we're going to do is we're going to press. We're going to send pressure behind this. So we're going to blitz that slot corner. And the way we're going to defend quick quick throws is we are going to scissor. So the, what, what I like to do with this defense is we're going to have to – you ha, for this defense to work well, you have to run cover two to the right. If you don't run cover two to the right, verticals will kill you. You need to be running cover two to the right side. So we're going to go man up on that left side safety on that solo receiver. We're going to man up that corner, that outside corner on the running back. On the right side of the play, we are going to vert hook, cloud, and deep half. The reason for those adjustments is because we want that vert hook to play that tight end. And then what's our user responsibility? No matter what, if it's double post, if it's verticals, any of those plays, our primary responsibility here is we're taking this crosser and then we're kind of peeling back and taking that running back late if they try to throw that wheel route over the top of the defense. Super, super important way to play and, uh, and just a super effective way to stop this. So, again, if you're ever getting – if you really want to kind of put some pressure on your opponent, I love this adjustment. If they're ever just – you know, honestly, just it's a little too easy. And they're, this is specifically for quick throws when that running back is going to the left side. So, like a running back streak, a running back Texas, a running back wheel, a running back flat, all of those are available. As you see, that vert hook will play that tight end, and then you just have to use the crosser. Super, super good play. Now, uh, another setup that is really common out of verticals is basically this with the Texas. So how would I defend something like this? Every now and then, one of the things that I will do, because I want to use her this right side, right? Typically, I want to use her this right side. What I think is really good um, is to take this shaded down yellow on the left from a vert hook type perspective. And then from there, we can kind of either send four or we can kind of, again, just building the coverage behind the pressure. What I find most of the time works well is that shaded down yellow. And then on the right-hand side, we're either going to go with a purple in a deep half, or we're going to go with a cloud flat, which I do like to press clouds as well. And then on the right-hand side of the screen here, we are going to leave that hard flat to take away that vertical. And then our user is just going to say, okay, you're not going to be able to throw that. And then we're going to kind of peel back underneath and take the running back that way. Those are some ways that I like to defend kind of that, that quick throw, that, that, that quick throw to the running back on a Texas pattern. I want to show you this other defense I really like. So the, what we're going to do here, this one is kind of an interesting one, uh, but it is really effective. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually put the yellow zone, the shaded down yellow on the right side safety. So we're going to put this right side safety in a hook curl. We're going to shade underneath. And then from there, what we're going to do on this left-hand side is we're going to middle third the safety. And then on the uh, underneath with the underneath defender there, what I typically like to do with him is I actually like to go ahead and just man the running back up. What this is going to do a good job of is it's going to defend that Texas route really well. It's going to defend verticals really well. And the main responsibility that your user defender is going to have is if there's a corner route to the right side, we've got to go get that. Or if there's any kind of anything from bunch coming back across the middle, then we need to kind of be mindful of, of that as well. Um, another way that you could kind of get to the same basic thing is by blitzing this guy off the left and then manning this guy up onto the running back. The reason that's a good adjustment is because if the running back blocks, this guy will actually go into a middle third. But if the running back goes out, you still have that deep third and that man up to be able to take away that. And then now you would want to become, with your user, kind of the middle third defender. But in general, um, the safer bet is to go ahead and leave this guy in either a hard flat or man him up on the running back. I find the man up to be pretty decent um, just because it's going gonna, it's gonna to snap. It's going to stop the quick throw stuff. If you want to vert hook this guy, you can. If you want to hard flat him, be my guest. But these are this is another one of my favorite uh, coverages for for defending bunch. Uh, I want to show you another thing that I like to do. This is a more of a maximum coverage defense, but it is really effective. So again, we're kind of talking about how do we you know how do we make sure that we're playing disciplined coverage. Uh, this one is pretty decent. So what I like to do here 
is we're going to pinch. We're going to crash down. That's a max coverage look. Uh, so we have a maximum coverage defense here that we're trying to play. And then what we're going to do is we are going to hard flat on the right side, and we're going to take that safety, and we're going to put him in that 30-yard or 20-yard curl flat. And then what we're able to do here opposite of this is we're going to cross man the tight end so that we're able to take away the kind of that, that vertical wheel aspect of the play. And then what we're going to do off of the back side of this is we are going to go ahead and we're going to go through and just play a basic cover two coverage. So uh, the main thing we have to watch out for is a deep streak up the seam which our user is going to be responsible for. So we are kind of the makeshift middle third defender. Another way that we can kind of get at that same basic thing is by middle thirding this linebacker and then just making it our priority to user that tight end. These are ways that we can kind of get to covering different spaces that I find to be really effective. And again, just trying to get different ways to get that 30 yard or 20 yard curl flat over there. So as you see here, that, that, that can also KO double post in the event that they run it without a clear out route. So those are some of my favorite methods uh, to be able to to be able to cover pretty decent. I think one of the more underrated defenses uh, specifically for bunch is this one right here. We talked a little bit about this, but it's basically we're going to have uh, a deep half on this right side. But what we're going to do is we're going to also go ahead and allow ourselves to go through and have both sides basically kind of double flatted, if you will. What this is going to do uh, a poor job of, obviously you're going to have to kind of watch that seam streak. Um, and, and obviously the middle of the field is very much so open, but it's going to do a really good job of protecting the sidelines. I don't feel like you have to Mabel the bunch side a ton. And this is where you might want to have a yellow zone right there on that right side. I do like to have that yellow zone on that bunch side because I just find it does such a good job of defending verticals. And then once you can defend verticals and double corner and all that stuff, then it's kind of like you're getting into some weird stuff that they might do from bunch, but there's not any, you know, super, super deep plays. I would say one other thing, don't ever underestimate the, and this is more for bunch strong or just solo receivers in general. Don't ever underestimate the power of this deep half right here with a yellow zone and kind of giving up the corner route when you're, when the bunch is to the wide side of the field. A lot of people don't run corner routes to the wide side of the field out a bunch. If they do, it's going to be double corner, and you can kind of recognize that. What this allows you to do on the back end of your coverage is now you can get into like a quarter here and a cloud or, or whatever. You know, what I'd probably do is a, a half, and then that way we're just playing kind of Tampa 2 to the left. You know, something like this uh, is a pretty decent coverage, even if you were to do something like that with a five-man pressure off of it. This is still a pretty safe coverage, and that hook curl is going to do a really good job of stopping the tight end. And then really you're just kind of watching because if the running back stays in, then you're able to kind of roll back and play in the middle of the field and take that stuff away. One other coverage that I do run against bunch, I'd be crazy if I didn't tell you about it. It's kind of a fourth down coverage. Uh, what I like to do is go to DB Fire 2. I'm going to press, pinch, crash out, and then what we're going to do is we're going to middle third the middle linebacker and we're going to uh, go through and we're going to yellow both of these safeties. We're going to shade underneath. And then on the outside, we're going to go ahead and you can either cloud flat on that right side. Or if you're worried that they might hit you over the top, go ahead and just play cover three like this. The reason I like to play cover three like this, and you might even throw a hard flat on the right side there. The reason I like this is because it really does a good job of stopping smash return, stopping some of those middle of the field throws. And then you just have to basically take the flat to the left or... You know, generally speaking, they're going to get screamed at by the time they do get to that flat. And so, you know, you're going to be able to create some nice pressure tactics behind it. This is, in general, what I like to do against Bunch. And there are some nuances. Again, I cannot stress enough the, the power of just simply audibly into cover three cloud, pressing your coverage, pinch, shade underneath, and then all you have to do is to that right side. Um, I mean, really, in general, just shade underneath and then recloud on the right that's fine. This is a great coverage for bunch and it will stop the majority of things people like to do. Even if you wanted to put that left side corner on a purple and then have that middle linebacker be like a, a hard flat coming from within perfectly fine adjustments. But this little max coverage defense is, is very simple 
and it's very good against a lot of what Bunch wants to do. Another simple max coverage is out of your free safety zone blitz. You're just going to press. You're going to pinch your D-line. You're going to shade. Um, you're going to shade, or I'm sorry, you're going to go ahead and hook curl the linebacker, and then you're going to shade underneath with the two yellows. I find this to be a good max coverage defense as well. If they're really hitting you underneath, these are great ways to defend that, right? Just some of these simple drop eight coverages are – very effective against a lot of what people like to do. So you don't have to make the game super complex, although there are some really complex adjustments in this guide. You can make it really simple, just something as simple as shading underneath, pinch crash down, we're going to hook curl, and then we're just going to Mabel one side or the other. I love to Mabel the solo side just because it allows me to put that deep half for double post, and I can kind of be the right side hook curl, and I can also go with any corner route to the right. So in an example of curl flat, you know, do something like what you see here. I see, oh, it's double quarter. I'm going to go here. And then at the last second, kind of peel back to the drag. I find that to be a fairly simple way to defend bunch is just rolling your coverages and mabling different sides and bracketing different sides based off a of tendency, of course. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope that this was helpful. Full little guide here on defending gun bunch. If you want to get my full dollar three two defensive ebook that is available by becoming a member of our school.com community school.com slash cody ballard the link to sign up is going to be down in the description below again just ten dollars gets you access to everything that we have over there not only just for madden but also for college football when it drops so if you want to get better at either game we've got you covered over at the school.com page you can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below